Welcome Quest fans, my name is Tony and welcome to the Quest Digest, your weekly 5 minute bite sized chunk of news for the Quest. So let's get started. It's showtime. First I want to start off with some Oculus Quest games you can actually help beta test. The first one is Dash Dash. This is how you do it. Go to the Discord channel. The link is in the description below and just follow the instructions. You need to fill out a few forms and they'll contact you when the time is right. Apparently there will be a new group of beta testers starting this Monday. Another game you can potentially beta test is Population 1. Now I joined the private beta. This is going to be a cross-play game available on the Oculus Quest 2. It's a battle royale game. Here's some gameplay. Looks pretty cool. A bit like PUBG or Fortnite. Now when I signed up they said they'd be reaching out to more people to play test, but when that will happen I'm not sure. Now just a quick bit of news, this game dropped a couple of weeks ago, it's a web XR game for free, uh, I've got a video on it in the link below if you're interested in checking this out. Now the news you might have heard, Kaisers Brigade, one of the most popular side quest games, has been rejected from the Oculus Store once again, but it has been accepted into the Oculus Start program. What's the Oculus Start program and why should you care? Well it's a platform aimed to provide support to developers so they can really make awesome content and what that means for us hopefully is higher quality games. Now let's see what's happening in the official Oculus Store. There's really not much going on. There is this duo pack deal, um, which is quite a good deal for both games. They're awesome games. And there's been a permanent price drop for Orbis VR. Now, Orbis VR is an MMORPG, which is for the Oculus Quest. Although we do have some awesome games up and coming, I've explored some of these in my previous Quest Digest video. And let's look at side quests. There's a different story here. We've had a ton of games drop in the last week, some of these being paid experiences too. Uh, the first one, Range Day VR, 16 indoor and outdoor ranges. This is a paid experience. It's a room scale VR experience. There's time challenges. There's more than 50 weapons to shoot. And some of these ranges are reactive in the sense that they actually shoot back at you, which is quite cool. But this will set you back. 14.99 US dollars which is about $22.50 in Australian or £11.50 in English money. Next we have Reflex Unit 2 which is a top down tank arcade shooter. Now there's plenty of different multiplayer modes with this one. Friends can play on their smartphones or iOS platform and this will set you back $9.99 US dollars or 15 Australian dollars which works out to about £7.50. Next we have Block Army. It's a VR multiplayer puzzle game where you have to compete with other people to crush coloured bricks so you can clear a path to then take aim at one another. I've never seen anything like this before looks quite interesting and quite fun. We also have Thunderbullet VR, a comic book inspired game where you have to shoot aliens and I think you can even distinguish between the adult males, the children and the adult females in this fun little shooter. And then we have a change of pace, a more relaxing game, Disc Golf VR, pretty self-explanatory, get the disc to the goal in the least throws possible. But the side quest game that really caught my eye this week was Triton VR. This game is a one versus one shared space first person shooter. Has 21 weapons and you can see some of these in the tutorial I'm playing here. Now fortunately I have no one else to play with locally and for now it's local play only but I hear they're planning to add a online multiplayer mode too. I played the tutorial, a very polished game, the reloading, the guns, the graphics all reminded me of Crisis Brigade. And it seems there's quite a lot of content, especially for a free experience. You've got all these different gameplay modes that you can see here. You also have three maps in which you can select from. And what happens is when you're ready to play, you walk to one of the bases. The other person who also has a Quest headset in the game walks to the red base and you can fight. And finally, we have Space Team VR, where you assemble a team of up to six Space Gazettes, where you work together to keep your ship functioning and the, and the great thing about this game is that it's co-op cross-play and also mobile multiplayer which means you can play the game with your friends using a smartphone as long as you've got one VR headset running the game so I think this is going to shape up to be a great little party game for the quest anyway that's it from me remember if you like this video subscribe as it really helps me to produce more content like this and I'll catch you next time well that hit the spot <laughs>